Let's look at solving proportions. This is something that in geometry you've seen before. You saw it uh, in algebra. You also saw it, uh, you, you should have learned it back in middle school. Um, but let's take a look at how to solve four different kinds of proportions. It's slightly different, and please excuse the background noise. Now, solving proportions, proportion is a, an equation, right, equal sign with two ratios. So in order to solve this proportion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and I'm going to cross multiply. I do that in every single one of these proportions. But let's start with A. 6 over 2 is equal to 4 over P. And I want to figure out what P is. So 6 times P is I cross multiply. 6P equals 2 times 4, which is 8. Now I could have done 2 times 4 equals 6 times P, because 8 equals 6P is the same thing as saying 6P equals 8. So it doesn't matter what order you go in. But let's go ahead and continue with this. So 6p equals 8. Let's give you a little bit more light. 6p equals 8. So I divide by 6 on both sides, and I'm left with p on the left side is equal to 8 over 6. Now I need to reduce because I can't leave it as that. So that's going to reduce to 4 over 3. Now let's take a look at one that's, a little, that's similar but a little bit different. This time the variable has a coefficient. Does anything change? No. Simply cross multiply. 6 times 5n is 30n is equal to 5 times 2, which is 10. So I divide by 30, divide by 30, and I'm left with n equals 1 over 3. Very simple. Now let's continue on. It's going to get a little bit more difficult. Now I see a binomial, so it's a variable plus a number. Let's see if anything changes. Well, it doesn't. Simply cross multiply and solve. So 9 times 6 is going to be 54, which equals 8 times the whole numerator here. So 8 times k plus 6 is not just 8k plus 6. It's 8 times, in parentheses, k plus 6. 8 times the quantity k plus 6. So as I simplify, i got to get rid of those parentheses by distributing. 8 times k is 8k plus 8 times 6, which is 48. Now, solving is pretty simple. Got to get the variable by itself by subtracting 48 from both sides. And I'm left with 54 minus 48, which is 6, is equal to 8k. Now I just divide by 8, and I'm left with k is equal to 6 over 8 reduces to 3 over 4. Last but not least, I'm given n minus 9 over n plus 5. Oh, does anything change here? Nope. I simply cross multiply again. You've got two binomials, but nothing changes. n minus 9 times 4 times 4 is equal to n plus 5, the quantity n plus 5 times 7. And whether the coefficient is after or before the parentheses, nothing changes. I still distribute. So 4n minus 9 times 4 is 36 is equal to 7n plus 7 times 5, which is 35. Now I've got to solve. So let's subtract 4n from both sides. I'm left with negative 36 equals 3n plus 35. Subtract 35 from both sides. And I'm left with negative 36 minus 35 gives me a negative 71 equals 3n. So when I divide that by 3, divide that by 3, I'm left with, I'm ran out of space here, n is going to be equal to, can I reduce this at all? Nope. So I just leave it as negative 71 mm -hmm. over 3. And that is the solution. Nothing changes when the proportion is simply numbers in a variable, cross multiply and solve. When it's two binomials and a couple numbers, cross-multiply and solve. And that is how we solve proportions.